Hello and welcome to the first Cannes Film Festival, a celebration of recycling. My name is Chris Evans and I'm here representing the Butterfly Garden. The Butterfly Garden is a very diverse provision for people dealing with compromised journeys. But one of the elements that's become ever more popular on this site is the business of recycling. We happened on the recycling concept because somebody delivered to us a big pile of horticultural waste flower pots and trays and curry trays and said, we don't know what to do with them, we're going to throw them away, can you use them? Well, initially I thought we'd use them, but as more and more of these things turned up and word spread of our commitment to seeing them reused, I knew we would need to recycle. So we, we secured licenses, we secured a, a waste carrier's license and a waste management license, and we set about the business of recycling horticultural pots and horticultural plastic in the main. So we do carrier bags and compost bags and we do carry trays and flower pots and anything that is a waste, a plastic waste product from the horticultural industry. And then somebody turned up with a pile of wood and said, I hear you were recycling and I brought you some timber. But the next person brought cardboard. And the person after that turned up and said, well, I've just come from the race course and I brought you a pile of tin cans. So I wondered whether you'd like those. And the brief extended on an hourly basis, it seemed, for the first few weeks, as another person turned up with something else. And then we truly found our niche. We identified that there is a big commitment in this country to recycling, that a lot of people are already doing a lot of good work. But sadly, there are a lot of products that are not being recycled, and primarily not being recycled because they have a very limited monetary value. Our first foray into this area actually was the video. So somebody delivered a VHS videotape in and said, was it possible to recycle it? And out of curiosity, a student taking it to pieces discovered in excess of 35 bits. And when those bits were separated, it was possible to recycle them. And so began the commitment to the videotape recycling. And I believe today we're probably one of the few people in the country tackling this particular task. And we um, we can say that we're holding currently probably 70,000 and that we have effectively recycled more than half a million. And every day I will receive a call from somewhere um, with somebody saying, I've got some VHS tapes and are you still taking? And we are. And somebody called me from London the other day and said, could they send me a parcel off the back of the... The videotapes so we found ourselves with lots of other things that nobody wanted to recycle so we took on 30,000 2004 World Cup key rings that were a promotional item five components but not fit for any purpose other than for dumping too much effort to separate unless you're somebody with a, a journey that prevents you from having an active involvement with community an active and purposeful involvement with community so my guys can get to the end of the day and know that when they involve themselves in our recycling, they are not committing product to the ground. So lateral thinking is required here. If you find a product, there will be a way to recycle it. But you need to use a bit of lateral thinking. This sort of initiative could be going on across the country. There are too many people with nothing to do. But I'm not here to stand on an orange box. I'm here to say this film event is a celebration of our commitment to recycling and a promotion of the greater responsibility we have as a nation to keep trying to recycle our waste. Thank you. Enjoy your evening.